and all that bad food's going into their whack body and their whack body is contributing to a whack brain. <laughs> of course, this is like, it's official. IQ scores across America have dropped for the first time in a hundred years. Now, are we headed towards idiocracy or is this just a momentary dip? Yeah, this new study came out and basically said that average IQ scores dropped across all groups, all genders. However, Andrew, there is one particular group, 18 to 22, particularly less educated, where the IQ drop was huge. Whoa. Long story short, people are saying some young people who are always on social media are kind of dumb. Damn. Now, the study also said that while a few skills such as spatial reasoning were better than previous generations, so one thing did improve, other skills such as problem-solving, numerical series assessments, and verbal reasoning have all grown worse. It's because they're playing Minecraft, but they can't <laughs> even do simple arithmetic on a piece of paper handwritten. Dang, guys, we're going to talk about it. There's a multitude of reactions. We'll give you our takeaways. Can we turn this ship around so it doesn't fall into idiocracy? Let's talk about it. From silly to serious, hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. The very first comment that I saw pop up most commonly, Andrew, was, you know, this is what happens when we lower the bar mm. to meet lower level students. We just keep lowering the bar to pass them through the system instead of being strict on them. We should hire the bar and maybe they'll jump to hit the higher bar. Yeah, I mean, what about public school funding, guys? There's even certain school districts in America that are thinking about moving to a four-day school week due to funding. We can't afford teachers. the lunch, ladies, anymore. <laughs> well, I'll tell you this. Looking at the food, it ain't the lunch. Somebody said, uh, IQ was never meant to be a test of intelligence, but rather a test of living conditions, motivation, and willpower. So don't worry, guys. IQ is meaningless anyway. Somebody else said, uh, no, I'm pretty sure IQ does mean something. It's just that everybody's so distracted, so they're, they can't focus on their formal schooling because formal schooling is related to IQ scores. And somebody said, hey, guys, are you serious? When you're distracted, you can't focus. And being able to focus is one of the fundamental building blocks of intelligence. Yeah, yeah. I do think that focus and distractions and all the extra stuff that kids are doing outside of school is really hurting. Somebody said, uh, yeah, it's because all you guys are pushing all the woke agendas, <laughs> not teaching a darn thing, no more life skills, no more factoids. You guys just learning woke political narratives all day in school. No wonder why the IQ scores are going bad. Nah, man, this guy's trying to politicize it a little bit too much, man. The schools are still teaching stuff. It's that the kids aren't learning, and I think what the kids are doing after school is like they're not doing their homework and et cetera, et cetera. Somebody said, uh, you know, public schools in America have never been really that great except a few of them so really it's actually just the parents fault mm. Mm. hate to always put it on the parents but that is a big thing somebody said well you know there's a lot more hard working immigrants in America who are really good and contribute a lot but I've got to say that you know they're not too formula educated and they don't know a lot of things that would score too well on an IQ test well I guess there are certain things like maybe if the IQ test is in English and people have a low English proficiency even if they have an intelligent brain. Well, or even if they're second generation and yeah. their parents, both their parents have very low English proficiency, yeah. they might actually I, uh, have lower than somebody whose both parents are fluent in English. Yeah, I mean, listen, I don't think IQ tests mean everything, but it does mean like if you're motivated to take it and you can focus on it, obviously it says something about you. It means you can probably focus on other tasks. Yeah, I do not think that IQ tests mean everything, but I don't think they mean nothing either. I mean, it just depends. Obviously, you guys argue amongst yourselves. Somebody said, uh, yeah, nobody thinks like Logically anymore, they just Google everything. No more reading. Nobody knows how to get anywhere anymore. They just use GPS. Nobody knows how to calculate anything anymore. People just use the iPhone calculator, the TI-83. Do, do people even know how to write anything by hand anymore? Have you, has anybody checked on these kids' handwriting? It looks terrible. <laughs> I will say that moving into the future, I do think that education is just going to look different. Now, maybe if the argument is the public school system needs to be updated, but I really really think it's a lot of like the desires of children to learn things that are ultimately going to be productive. Mm. Like I think there is a lot of alternative education out there, but I just think a lot of people are not interested in education period. Yeah. Somebody said, uh, Googling, uh, things made me have more knowledge. And somebody else said, you know, knowledge and IQ are different. IQ is reasoning ability. When you have more knowledge without the reasoning ability, this is why everybody believes in conspiracy theories all the time because they think they're smart, but they have no ability to tell what's real and what's right and how puzzle pieces fit together. Somebody said, uh, it's all about welfare, man. There's no more work ethic. People don't want to work hard and people don't want to work hard mentally either. And maybe that's one of the factors, but 
I don't know. Somebody said uh, low IQ people tend to have more kids, even because they don't like to think about whether they can afford a larger family or not. Uh, this is the beginning of idiocracy, that opening scene where the upper middle class couple that's extremely educated is overthinking about whether having a kid and then the dumb family is just pumping kids out like a factory. Right, and then the overeducated family with like two grad school degrees each ends up not even having kids, right? Because one of them ends up dying before they can even have kids because they're too old. Listen, guys, there's some stats to back this up, guys. You guys let me know how much of an impact on the equation this actually has. How do you weight the variables? Somebody said idiocracy. You guys better watch it. Someone said, why watch it? I'm just living it right now. Dang. Uh, other so, people said, you know, dumb people are easier to control. And we're all going to be ro- ruled by chat GPT-11 soon enough. So listen, guys, they want a dumbed down populace. Mm. They want us to not think for ourselves. They want us to have bad reasoning skills and bad critical thinking. Because they will be easier to control. Who's they? Are you talking about the robots? Somebody said, never underestimate the destructive powers of a dumbed down populace. Someone said, thank you, rap music. <laughs> rap music, crap music. Just put a, front, put a C in front of rap, it's crap. I, um, was, I was waiting for this comment because I know that people always like to point at all different types of subcultures or cultures, whether it's heavy metal, right? Was the enemy for a while. It's the devil's music, it's dumb. Rap music, Gene right? Simmons' tongue is from the <laughs> underworld. <laughs> yeah, and I mean... Listen, I, I definitely think that there was a movement away from lyrical rap, and yeah. I, I miss lyrical rap. Yeah, just the fact that people be like, oh, uh, J. Cole's boring, Nas is boring, yeah. right? I, I, I mean, listen, this is a small, small, tiny factor. Come on. Um, somebody said, you know, it's not just rap. It's the Kardashians. It's the influencers. It's the TikTok culture. It's the fact that Tide has to issue a statement and say, please do not eat Tide pads Tide Pods as part of a clout challenge. Idolizing these things are idiotic. So when people see people being dumb and getting money and getting clout and everybody talking about them and getting attention and clout, they just want to follow that. Yeah, I really think a hyper clout driven culture right now is the biggest issue. Because if you want clout and you want attention, then you're willing to do all these other things for it. Now that includes like being overly sexual or only doing the TikTok dances or selling does or fighting people or messing with people, pranking people, whatever it is, you are gonna do whatever it takes to get that attention, whether it is productive, smart, or destroy society. Right, right, right. It has more to do with value systems and priority because what if kids realize that having a higher IQ didn't make them more lit and the value system place being lit Uh, at the top of the priority list. Exactly. Remember when you're a kid, I think a lot of kids, I'm the youngest of three, so I do think I liked attention. A lot of kids want attention, so you kind of cake and scream or you dance or do something, but somewhere along the way, someone has to tell you like, hey, listen, just... You can't just only do this for attention. You got to do something else. Right. Or, yeah. or do something uh, conventionally productive to get attention. Yeah. Somebody said, it's really the lack of exercise and bad <laughs> diet. We got microplastics. Kids don't have enough vitamins. They're oh. eating bad foods. And all that bad food's going into their whack body. And their whack body is contributing to a whack brain. I think... Does that's it bra- another is it brain fact. first and then body or body first then brain? Guys, we all know healthier food does help cognitive ability. And this is true. So if you got a bad diet, but they did outlaw sodas in schools. So I guess what's the next step, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Standard deviations in cognition. Let me see this. Uh, this next one said, look at our presidential choices, man. You have somebody with a quickly, quickly, rapidly aging brain or somebody who is incredibly selfish and cares zero about real leadership. Those are our two options. What more evidence do you need to see that the IQs are dropping across the board? Yeah, tough choices. Somebody said, uh, regardless of leadership, we're headed downside as a society. Just, you know, one is going to take us there faster than the other, and it'll just look a little different. But this is the inevitable, guys. Welcome to idiocracy. What stamp do you want to put on it? Yeah, and then I also saw this comment that, of course, blame China and TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> Thank classic. you, China and TikTok. Like, that's the only reason. And somebody said, what a revelation. A five-minute walk around the block will show the IQ level of a pajama-wearing zombie smoking weed with their noses buried in their phones while they walk into you oblivious of their surroundings. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> of course, this is like a cherry pick 10 out of 10 example, Andrew. But we have a neighbor who exactly fits this description. Literally, I'm talking about elf bar, pajama pants, broccoli cut, 10 out of 10. Guys... None of those singular things are really bad, but if you just combine them together, I don't know what you're about. If you do all three or four things, I don't know what you're doing, guys. I get, I don't, 
It's not a diss to kids with broccoli cuts. Y'all, you, you guys look cool, but I've just never had anybody say anything smart to me. All right, you guys, let's get into the takeaways. Does this test have merit, Andrew? And do we believe that this solo Listen. study can show much more? Because it certainly fits with a lot of people's narratives that they have in their mind about mm -hmm. society degrading or people's intelligence mm -hmm. degrading. Um, but d does it show everything or is it just like a, a small uh, indicator? I, I think it confirms a lot of people's fears. Now, this one test isn't the only metric you should base your whole belief system on or anything like that this one study should not get you all of a sudden emotional in a time when you weren't emotional like it's another reason it's another sign all right so i think take it into consideration but no it doesn't mean everything because there's so much other stuff going on but i think most people agree people are kind of distracted right now yeah is it too late to swing the swing the pendulum back or is it time to start using different metrics yeah. or uh what is it like I, I do think that at some point the government or something the policies have to step in now i don't have a problem with social media obviously i don't have a problem with content creation i, I like all these things i don't have I, a problem with wokeness either yeah i don't honest. have a problem with the wokeness either i just think that people need to uh, I think the government can step in and be like, hey, man, we're going to regulate some social media. Like, literally, they might have to do that. I'm just saying. It's like an option. Like, you have to. I don't know. <laughs> like, I'm just not, I'm not saying censor everything. I'm just saying, you know, regulate it. Um, I think that for the people trying to politicize this, I don't think either party is free from blame. Oh, you know dude. what I mean? Especially in a two-party paradigm. Like, I think you've got, like, just uh, idiocracy is infecting everybody yeah no both parties and i don't like it how the right side's trying to blame the left side oh you liberals and your uh little liberal views are making everybody stupider and then it's like yeah but actually like the left side is more educated and the right side on the extreme side you got things like QAnon, which is like ridiculous so i'm like Guys, both parties are being really stupid right now. Everybody's being an idiot. Yeah, I think that long story short, everybody's just really worried about feelings more than facts. And then even when you are presented with a scientific fact, then all of a sudden people call into question, obviously the scientific validity, mm -hmm. the biases of whoever executed that study. Mm -hmm. And then some people, the, the discussion immediately goes to the feelings that everybody has surrounding those facts. Yeah. But literally nobody wants to discuss the facts like an engineer. Yeah, I, I think ultimately, and this is my last thing you guys let us know in the comments down below what you think i think you got to incentivize kids or students or people to be a little bit more educated but i do think education looks different now in yeah. 2023 and then uh also just this hyper clout driven gay maintain and gain attention by all means necessary zombie culture. movies zombie movies i'm throwing it's that tough. in there yeah it's tough man i i think the whole gaining clout by all means necessary if you want to gain clout for doing something that you truly believe is interesting and productive and helpful and positive then more power to you but i know there's people out there just creating bull she you. you know apparently there's so many people that are so high on maslow's hierarchy and needs the only thing that was left to do is uh watch something burn in an entertaining way i don't know guys let us know what you think in the comment section below do you agree with this study do you disagree with the premise of this study um what are the larger implications guys keep it civil like we said i think that this just uh, there's a lot to go around for everybody until next time we the hot pot boys we out peace, peace.